All right, let's get to Twinkies Weekend with you. I'm yes. sure you've got some picks. That, oh, do you have, like, behind-the-scenes well, picks, or what do you got for us? Well, so that's what's so funny is that we went there, and we, we had some different things to shoot, which we showed throughout the morning and then showed to you guys, too. So we went in Herbeck's Bar. That's where they have the Big Bloody Mary, which... So for those who, who maybe didn't watch on Friday, my parents are from Minneapolis, live down there. And last time I was doing a story at the Mall of America, they actually came and helped just to kind of, or not help, but they wanted to see how I do yeah. my job, you know, because sometimes people don't get, you know, what it all takes to kind of get that one live look happening. So they, of course, volunteered to come along again because my dad's a huge Twins fan. Right. My mom's a huge Twins fan. I think my mom knows more about the players than I do, but that's because they watch it together. Um, and so they volunteered to come and help and watch what their daughter does. <laughs> so my dad was carrying, like, our tripod sticks around um, – some of the areas and my mom ended up carrying my purse and the camera bag a little bit too so nice. they did get put to work out there but my dad um i teased him because i was like oh he got parched so he had to help drink that 21 dollars bloody mary that of has course. the hamburger and everything in it and um they didn't get to go on the field because obviously we were there during the game time so you can't go out there on the field but they did get to go up in the press box and they um there's dave and i on the field because dave went with us on these traveling trips. He's our photographer who did an awesome job. He's he was incredible. running around and he's like, oh, I'm gonna go get a shot of this. Oh, I'm gonna go get a shot of this. And then he had never been to Target Field and he oh, really nice. enjoyed it too. So it was really fun. I, this morning, I uh, had so <clears> many <throat> different things that I was doing that I forgot to send more pictures. But um, do you know who this is? I think it's Tony Oliva. Yeah, nice. Tony Oliva. And he was, he was super funny. So. We checked into this media area, and he kind of like, I forgot what he said to me the first time he walked by. And then the second time, he kind of like pretended to grab my purse from me and was like, hey, hey, lady, what He's are you doing great. over here? And then we ended up in the elevator together. So I said, okay, we'll take a picture together. <laughs> and he was fine with it. He seems like he's just such a super nice guy walking around, talking to whoever wanted to talk to him. So that was just great. But And then we got to enjoy um, a weekend down there. So Jaron came down to Minneapolis and, and I that's... stayed down there. This is at um, Sociable Cider Works, which is um, a brewery in nice. Minneapolis, which was really good. They had some cider beers. They had some mixed cider beer combos and then some beers. So how far too. do you live from, like, downtown, downtown? So we're, like, I would say it's, like, a 20-minute drive from where this place was. That's so not bad. our other friend had, like, opened... Um, they had this brewery opening, so we went to that too. And it's actually like a co-op brewery. So Jaren's like, let's buy in on the co-op. <laughs> let's own part of this brewery. Because, <laughs> you know, co-ops, you yeah. need to kind of pay, and, and then you get <clears throat> you own like one share of it. So I was like, well, let's hold off. Let's drink the beer first. Let's taste test it and see if we like it. It was really good, though. So it was an awesome weekend. And then, of course, I couldn't leave without getting to see my nephew, Grant, who is now 15 months old, and he was helping make Panacookin. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, so he was doing a good job stirring, although something that Grandma Lisa <clears> didn't <throat> get to see was um, he <laughs> decided to take the whisk out of the bowl and use his hand. So we, we were laughing, my sister Nikki, who is his mom, and I were laughing because we were like, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> my mom's doing the bacon, like, what's going on? Nothing, nothing's happening. Yeah, he's good, he's good. <laughs> So it was a really exciting weekend. It was a really long week, and I not mm -hmm. only napped on Friday, I napped on Saturday, and I wanted to nap yesterday but didn't because your body just needs to catch up oh, yeah. from everything. Tell me about it. I mean, <sighs> Friday night, I just crash out every yes. week from because putting it's in like the long days. Your whole week, it kind of all builds up to that Friday, which is why it's like we always say, like, we love <clears> movie days love movie weekends because it's like your body Chill. just after yeah. five days of work just needs that like Eat good rock. food <sighs>